you know, I was having, also we're gonna ignore this. I was having a pretty crappy morning because I wasn't feeling good and I still kind of am not feeling good right now, but we're just, <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very requested, you guys requested, since I showed you guys my juicy purse in my haul, to do a what's in my purse video. So if you guys would like to see that, then we're just gonna get right into it. I'm kind of in a really good mood. So I unexpectedly got a day off from work, COVID, that's all. My foundation's all like messed up. Just please ignore that because I just got my brows done today and I feel like a bad bee. So I'm really happy right now. I need some, I put forth some effort into uh, leveling up my life. Cross your fingers. Today I ended up having an expected day off, like I was saying, and I ended up going out with my mom in uh, to Target and I went to Ulta and I did not spend my own money. I spent gift cards, so I'm very happy about that. Got some things. So if you guys would like to see a gift card haul, cause technically I'm not spending my own money, let me know in the comments. I am just blabbling all over the place cause I'm like really excited. Positive vibes, positive energy. Of course you guys know this is my main this is my bag. This is my Juicy Couture Dreamer bag. I got it off of Poshmark Thrifted. I did not spend full price for this because I know there's a lot of Dreamer bags that, like I was saying in my last couple of videos, that are like really expensive. They're like 300 plus. This exact one going for like 300 and I was like, uh, no. For me, I didn't really care about the condition it was in. Like I did, but I didn't. You could tell that it was used. I don't really care. I love her. I've wanted one of these bags since high school. I bit the bullet and I got one and I love her. She's cute. She says Juicy Couture. She's got the gem keychain and the the bow on the side and it has like a little one pocket right here but first i want to show you guys my little tiny little bag because i did use this today this is part of that three bag set my mom got for me for christmas and i just ended up taking off the big pouch and using the little chain strap with it which is super super cute i used to use these like in middle school like hello here i'll show you guys first because this is normally what's in my juicy bag anyways wallet which is also juicy couture shout out to my aunt-in-law for getting it for me for christmas i just have all my stuff in here which i'm not going to show because obviously privacy reasons here i also just have i don't know why i packed the liner but i have my kylie coco lip liner the coco this is not coco coco is loco no no <laughs> anyways i have the kylie coconut lip liner this is her old formula again i want to disclaim that because as i've said in my previous cleaning out videos makeup declutter videos that i do love kylie's old formula her new formula is just not hitting it for me i don't know maybe i'll try it again someday finally like hit that spot for me but her old formula just is it so i still use the coconut liner so that's what's in there I have on today the nyx lip lingerie in turn on so that's my lip for today i'm wearing finally you guys the maybelline lifter gloss in the shade moon which is very pretty i really like her a lot these glosses just give me life i love them so much i think these are gonna be like a new favorite favorite glosses and besides queen cosmetics i don't know i feel like i was really really for fenty for a minute and then one day i tried to put on some of my fenty stuff taste of it in my mouth the fragrance i was just nauseated i couldn't do it anymore so like oh i know hopefully one day again disposable black face mask because i didn't feel like wearing my rhinestone one today because obviously this was my fit for the day and i was like oh this is enough but you know it's never enough but you get what i mean i also have a sanitizer this is a sweet and shimmer frosted coconut i got from ulta finally gonna go into my juicy bag Bag, which is usually the same old stuff you guys see every single time so i apologize if again if this is very repetitive i did a couple of these videos over the summertime and i think i did a clean my bag out with me video with my louis speedy bag so this might just be really repetitive basically okay so first things in here i have are obviously a couple pads i just finished my period so i always have these in here for emergencies anyways because you never know grocery list from last week which includes milk half and half fruit greens which i still couldn't find there's a shortage on greens for my smoothies. Protein powder, tortillas, Parmesan cheese, pita chips, cat food, and waffles. Very exciting. Receipt from Stop and Shop, so I'm gonna just throw that aside. Have in here, this is a little emergency kit I made for my purse. I usually do this pretty much anytime I have a purse. All of my subbies know this, so I'm just obsessed. I always wanna be prepared for anything. So in here, I have some Advil. I have some argan oil, like hair sheets you put on your hair if it starts to get wild some Kleenex. I have eye drops and my Zizol in here because I always have allergies. My allergies are terrible. Eye drops because I always itch my eye. And then I do have some pads in here and panty liners in case of period. And I do have Benadryl in here too because you never know what you could be allergic to and Benadryl obviously is like a go-to. I have actually a couple packets of honey from Dunkin' because I'm psycho. I don't know why I decided to keep it in there. I think just in case I ever get a tea, something that needs
needs a little sweetener because I just don't like, I don't know, I'm more prone now to using very minimal sugar like in my coffee and or sugary, I don't know how to explain this. I used to have a really wild sweet tooth when I was younger. Most of you guys know I've been having up and down with my fitness journey and with my body and everything. Now I try to not have a lot of like sweetness in like my coffee or my tea or just like foods and not, not really foods, but like desserts. Like if it's really sweet, I won't eat it anymore versus like years ago, I used to just devour it. If anything, as far as a sweetener, except for coffee, I would not put honey in coffee, but I would definitely put honey in like tea, but an iced tea or just tea in general. So that's why that's in there. I don't know. That was a long explanation for nothing. I am sorry. I have a Target gift card. I think I used it though. Yeah, it's used. So that's done. Receipt for, oh, this is a return receipt for a pair. I bought a pair of sweatpants that I liked the pattern at the time and I thought I bought the top and the bottom and I didn't and then I didn't like the pattern in person so I returned it. And then I, of course I have as usual my mask from Blinged Up on Instagram. I'll try to put the link in the description. Love her. I bought this before I went back to work over a year, almost two years ago and she's still kicking it. I love her. She's absolutely gorgeous. No other mask like compares to her. She's just it for me and she's always in my bag. I don't know why I haven't but I have another thing of tissues. Again allergies so hi. My Hello Kitty mirror that I got from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Can't remember. And she lights up. She's gorgeous. I did put some powder on, but I'm still a little like oily. Trying a new primer today. So uh, if I look greasier than normal, I apologize. And here I have my Mentos gum, which is in a bag because this has opened up way too many times in the bottom of my purse and I've gotten very, very angry about it. So it's in a plastic bag. I also have my other mask, Barstool Sports, Call Her Daddy, and it just says blocked on there. However, I don't really want to promo Call Her Daddy anymore considering she doesn't support the free Britney movement considering uh recent events that's all I'm gonna say about that and then I also have my little palm peace of mind little tripod that is supposed to suction to your phone and then suction to whatever so like I feel like this would be great in the car especially I don't think it suctions very well to be honest I'm trying it on the drawer right here I mean I guess it suctions well it depends on where you put it it's bendy so you could bend it all around very cute. Everything is like the same old stuff. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is what I need right now. This Revlon like volcanic rock thing. Where's my mirror? It takes away all of the oil on your face and the oiliness. And I just tried to put powder on. I took some Instagram pictures for you guys and for myself. Oh my gosh. I just feel so oily today. Like what in the world? You just like all over like a weirdo. I really like this. I feel like this is kind of better than using oil blotting sheets. I actually haven't used oil blotting sheets in a long time, but still have them in case. The next I have my Call of Fruity Hand Food Soap and Glory Hand Lotion. You guys know this is one of my favorites. However, I'm trying to just use it up and not use it anymore because I feel like, the yes, this stuff works very well for me. I really like the Working Hands, the O'Keeffe's, I think that's what it's called, the Working Hands pomade hand cream that just works a lot better for me especially since i wash my hands 24 7 and my hands are actually getting really dry and then i also have a couple other devices that you've seen in here for years and i'm never going to use this i'm never going to use this you guys why do i still have it i couldn't tell you this is an elf ring light this is like one of the most random things elf could have ever come out with besides a hat and i think it was a hat and gloves or something on their site like years ago or something could be wrong though she lights up she's cute she clips to your phone so you could take selfies film or whatever you gotta do i don't know i think i might just put this in my tech stuff because i'm never never in my life used this like ever when I was out. So I think I might just keep it in my tech stuff. So if I go somewhere or I'm on vacation, I want to film and I need some light, I could just bring this instead of my ring light. I don't know. And then I also have my little fidget cube. I never use this, but I feel like this would be a good thing if I like start to like, sometimes I do fidget with stuff. It depends. Like today I was fidgeting with something in my pocket when I was out, but I feel like it kind of depends on my mood, but I really love this. I forgot how much I love this. It's great for when you have anxiety and it has like all these different things on it that you could just mess with. I don't know, my intention when I put this in my purse was like, oh, if I have to like go to the DMV, like some office or something where I have to like sit and not be on my phone or something, I don't know, or doctor or whatever, and I could just mess with this. Or if my phone dies, I could just play with this and not feel like losing my mind. I don't know. That was just my logic behind it. Last few things in here. I still have my Shop Miss Day reusable bag. I haven't used it in a while. My Mophie charger. You guys know I use this to recharge my phone all the time. As you guys can see, it's like fully charged, but you can use it up to four times before you have to charge the battery. And it's such a lifesaver. I love this so, so much. Just have some random dry shampoo in here. This is the Kristen S. Saw it at Target, thought it was good. So I ended up just getting it, throwing it in my bag. Along with my native deodorant. This is the coconut and vanilla, which is one of my favorites 
sense and this has come in handy again shout out to alba because she's like i need to get travel deodorant for my nursing bag she was starting a new job and i was like okay that's a good idea so now i have one in my work bag my purse and my travel i don't care i don't care i will always have deodorant with me because that's always like paranoia for me and i have a couple gift cards which i actually did end up using so they're empty and they're gonna go in the garbage finally in the last little pocket i just want to share with you guys i have more oil blotting sheets ironic i'm actually gonna put them in my small bag i have just all of my usual suspects oh here's my other one here's my opal gloss from maybelline i gotta put that one away sephora uh watermelon hand sanitizer i bought like one time when i went there i have the kylie skin mint lip balm i actually really love this one a lot i have the honey one in my work bag and i was using it the other day i'm like i really don't like this one i don't know i don't know that one was this uh, not the vibe stop Couple pens as usual you never know when you need a pen and then i just have my sol de janeiro brazilian crush Cherosa. is that how you say i feel like i said that wrong this is like one of my favorite scents ever my mom absolutely hates this scent because i remember when i went back to work in the summer after quarantine happened and everything i used to use that spray every single day because i would go to her house first and then i would go to work and she was just like oh my gosh i hate that smell why are you spraying that? It smells awful. I hate it. It gives me a headache. And I'm just like, because I like it. it. smells good. That all being said, that is everything that was in my Juicy Couture Dreamer bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just such an OG video for me to do every time. It's like nostalgic, but also I feel like it's a little boring because I just, I really do genuinely carry the same every single time. As long as you guys like it, I really don't mind. So uh, my bra's falling. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Hope you have an awesome day. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. Like this video if you enjoyed. Turn on bell post notifications so you know when the f I post a new video. And I am just keeping the faith. I'm keeping the faith. I'm manifesting and I'm keeping the faith. That's all. But I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.